Hi, this is Mike Megali and Manos Brilakis from the Minneapolis Heart Institute and the Cardiovascular Innovations Foundation, presenting case 67 for the Manual of Percutaneous Coronary Intervention. This is a case focusing on how to treat stents that are not well expanded. The patient was an elderly man that presented with angina and was found to have significant disease in the right coronary artery. He underwent predilatation with an undersized balloon and then he had a placement of a drug eluting stand. However, despite multiple high pressure inflations up to 26 to 28 atmospheres, that mid right coronary artery area could not be expanded. You can see even before there is contrast into the vessel that uh, there is a, a significant stand under expansion in the middle portion of the stand. The patient was discharged but returned four days later with acute inferior ST segment elevation myocardial infarction due to stent thrombosis. And the lesson here is that significant stent under expansion is one of the most important risk factors for stent thrombosis and every effort should be done to treat this patient before they are dismissed to exactly prevent this phenomenon. It was extremely challenging to wire through that stand and it was also extremely challenging delivering equipment through it. Eventually a Sapphire Pro 1.0 millimeter was able to cross. There was some predilatation up to 2.5 millimeters, but once again, the stand could not be expanded. So what can be done to expand such stands? And this is an algorithm for instant balloon and dilatable lesions, as was the case in this patient. The first step in such cases is to try high pressure balloon inflations. One can try um, two smaller balloons together using the Finet uh, formula in which it's uh, adding the two diameters and multiplying by two thirds. One can use one or more body wires which can have a scoring effect into the lesion. The second is to use one of the modified balloons or the plaque modification balloons such as the angel scalp, the chocolate or a cutting balloon. The third one is to use the laser and this is the one case instant that contrast can be used as well during laser activation causing the acoustico mechanical effect that can modify the plaque. Fourth, one can do a therectomy, although this carries risk of um, dislodging metallic material distally. Uh, orbital should, should be done only for old stands, not for fresh stands. Rotational can be done in either, but once again this option does carry some risk. Fifth option is to go around the lesion and re-enter using chronic total techniques. And uh, that of course requires experience and expertise in the sexual re-entry techniques. The sixth option, if everything else fails, is to send the patient to coronary bypass graft surgery. And there are two options that are currently becoming available in the United States. The first one is intravascular lithotripsy. The coronary catheter is not yet approved. However, the peripheral can be used off-label in some cases like this one to expand the lesion. Also in Europe, there is the SIS balloon that can go uh, high atmospheres, 40 up to 50 atmospheres, and can really help dilate such lesions. Uh, it's also very important to use intravascular imaging because uh, unlike this case in which uh, it was obvious that the stent was underexpanded sometimes, stent underexpansion can be hard to diagnose. So this is the case now. The patient is referred to us for trying to treat this undilatable lesion. We went femoral with an AL1-8 French guide, having strong support for anything we might need to use. For such stents that um, uh, are underexpanded, always prefer to wire with a knuckle if possible, because wiring with a bare tip might actually go under the stent struts and can be very, very challenging. Unfortunately here, the knuckle could not cross. It was so tight in the RCA that even the knuckle wire would not cross through. We used a guide extension and then we were able to actually advance a workhorse guide wire looped all the way down to the vessel. Once again, we used a plaque modification balloon to chocolate up to 30 atmospheres, but once again, there is a waste in the balloon. So we went to the next step, which is the laser. And this is laser with simultaneous contrast injection. What we're seeing here is small bubbles forming distal in the vessel. And this can happen in some cases like this. Uh, especially when um, the flow is slow into the vessel. The patient actually was fairly stable, did not have any KG changes or chest discomfort. And then after that, using a balloon, we were actually able to expand the lesion uh, successfully. 
the proximal part was turned with another stand, and then with intravascular imaging, we confirmed that an excellent result was achieved, and the stand was actually well expanded. So several lessons from this case. The first one is that stent under expansion is a major risk factor for stent thrombosis and should not be left alone. Uh, in patients like this with severe stent under expansion, consideration should be given to other treatments or worst case scenario, even coronary bypass, given the extremely high risk of uh, stent thrombosis. Another option would be to give aggressive antipetal therapy to minimize the risk. Wiring through the stents is best done using a knuckle wire and this requires extra support and the guide extension can be useful in obtaining this extra support. Third, it's good to have an algorithm for approaching these balloon antilatable lesions, which in this particular case included the high pressure balloons didn't work, the second step was the plaque modification balloon did not work, the third step laser did work, the fourth option would have been to do a therectomy, um, the fifth option would have been to do submintimal techniques, the sixth would be to get done cabbage, and the seventh to do intravascular lithotripsy if available. Laser did work and um, it should be done with caution, however, and only within previously placed stents, as it can cause dissections otherwise. Also, we did see formation of microbubbles during the laser activation with simultaneous contrast injection. Thank you.